Hello and Assalamualaikum. My name is Ahmad Fidaus and right now I will present my workshop one project which is Cyber Cafe Management System. Oh, uh, my metric number is B03191023. Introduction. The title of the project is Cyber Cafe Management System which is a system that can be used by the admin to manage membership such as add new member and remove member. The system can also help the admin to manage the computer such as add new computer or remove it. The system also help to give an accurate calculation of the payment. The system also will keep the cyber cafe secure by ask the admin to log in in order to use it. The problem of the old cyber cafe system is missing of data unorganized, difficult to calculate the actual payment for the customer. The objective of this project is to reserve the loss of the data, to keep the organizable of the data, to calculate the accurate payment of the customer. This is the flowchart for the main function. The main function will continuously loop until the user close the program. At start, the user need to log in as admin. After the user log in as admin, the user can choose to go to the admin entry or continue to the uh, main entry. The main entry function is will be called by the menu function. The menu function will display the list of the available entry. The first entry is member entry. The second entry is computer entry. And the third is allotment of computer. And the fourth is payment entry. The user need to input the option which of the entry they want to go. This is the delete user function. This function will delete the user from the database. This is the register function. The user need to input the name, password and number telephone for the new admin and then the program will insert the data inside the database. This is a login function. The user need to input the ID and the password and the program will look up into the database whether the ID and the password is correct. This is computer entry and most of the entry is implemented like this. The program will print the available function for the entry. As for this computer entry, the available function is to add computer, show computer and delete computer. The user need to insert option which of the function they want to use. This is the allocating to PC function. This is the function where uh, the user will allocate the computer to the customer. This is the print information function. This function will display the information of the allocating to the user. This is stop PC function. This function will be used for the user to stop a PC that is still running. This is add time function. This function is used to add time for the PC that is still running. In conclusion, this program able to resolve the loss of the data. This program will keep the data organized. Also, this program will calculate the accurate payment price for the customer. Now I done for my slide and right now I will show how the program works. At start, this program will ask user to insert admin ID and password. When user insert wrong ID, it will detect the ID is wrong. Also, when the user insert a wrong password, it will detect the password is wrong. After done login, the user can choose whether to continue to the main entry or go to the admin entry. To go to the admin entry, the user need to type the password for the admin entry. Right now, the password is cybercafe123. If the user misclick the keyboard, the user just need to click backspace to reset it. After done input the right password for admin entry, the user now will be at admin entry. User can register admin, show admin, update admin, and delete admin. By using arrow keys to navigate, let's go to the show admin. Currently, there is only one admin, which is Ahmad Firdaus. To return, just press any key. Right now, I will test to register a new admin. If admin want to cancel to add admin, simply input zero as the program said. Right now, I will add a new admin with the name Bushen with the password of QWE and 123. The program will ask to re-input the password. If user input a wrong password, the program will tell that the password is not same. Then, 
the user need to redo it again. Now, the user need to input a telephone number. Number phone must be a digit. If user input alphabet, then the program asks the user to re-enter the number phone again. Now we done add a new admin with auto increment ID which is A0319002. Let's check whether the new admin was added or not. Yes, the new admin was added. Now I will try to update the admin data. Over here, user need to search the admin name or just using up and down arrow keys to navigate. Simply by typing the admin name the user will be able to search the admin. Now, I want to change the admin information of Gushen. I will change the information of the telephone number. Most of this program use arrow key to navigate. So, let's go to the telephone number. And I will insert a new telephone number. The telephone number is already updated. Click 0 to return. Now, I will try to delete admin. Search the admin name or just use the arrow key to choose. The program will ask whether we really confirm to delete admin or not. If yes, input Y. If no, input N. When we input a wrong input, the program will ask user to re-input again until we input a valid input. Now, the admin with the name Gushen was deleted. I will go back to the welcome page by choose return. Right now, I will go to the main entry by click enter. Over here is the main entry which consists member entry, computer entry, element of computer and payment. Let's go to the member entry first. Over here, same with the admin entry. User can simply register member, update member, show member and delete member. Let's see all of the member here. Currently, there is a lot of member. Right now, I will try to add a new member. I will try to add a new member with name Shen and with some IC number. Same with the admin, just add password. Another one to confirm it. Add number phone. Now we done add a new member with a new ID which is M0319028. Now, let's try to update the member data. Simply, just type the member name or use arrow key to choose. I will update the user shell. I will change the data of the number phone. Now, the data is already updated. To return, just click 0. Now, I will try to delete member. I will delete the member that I just created. Input Y to confirm. Now the member is not exist anymore. I mean the data is deleted. Hmm. Press any key to continue. Click 0 to return. Now we done add member entry. Let's go to the computer entry. Over here, there is nothing much to do with the computer except to add a new one or just delete it. Let's see how many computer we have. This is the currently computers we have. We have 11 computers because before this I already deleted computer with the ID PC0319006. Press any key to return. Let's add a new computer. The computer is auto add and we don't need to adjust anything. Press any key to continue again. There is a new computer with ID PC0319013 which we just added. Let's delete it. Most of this, the program will ask if the user need to make an important decision just like this. I want to delete it so I input Y. Now, the computer is deleted. We are done with the computer. Now, let's go to the element of computer. Over here is where the user will manage the interaction between customer and computer such as which computer the customer want 
to add time for the customer, also to stop the computer that customer playing, and not to forget also to view the detailed information. Let's try to allocating the computer to customer. Over here, user need to choose whether the customer is a member or not a member. If he say he is a member, just choose member. Input the member ID. Also the password. If the password is wrong, then the user need to input it again. Now, the user need to choose which PC the customer want. User can only give the customer just an available computer. The unavailable computer will not be displayed if it is unavailable. Let's pick PC 03190001. Instead the time for the customer want to play. Let's try for 1 hour and 5 minutes maybe. Now, we done allocating the PC to the customer. To check it, let's go to the print information. Over here, the user can see the information of the PC, whether it is currently used or not, the user that used it, the time left for the user, and the time end for the user in 24-hour clock system. Press 0 to return. Let's try to add another customer to play the computer. This time, the customer is not a member. Input the IC for the customer. As we see, PC 03190001 is now not displayed here because it currently in use. So let's pick another one. Insert the time to play. Let's put it one hour. Done allocating it to a new customer. Again, let's check it at print information. Now we can see there are currently two computer in use with the time is still counting until end. If the customer want to add time, we can go to the add time. Choose which PC the customer is using. Let's try to add at PC 03190005. Let's add another 2 hour. Again, go to the print information to check it. Now, the time for the customer to is added to 2 hour. And lastly, we can stop the PC for the customer. But we will do that after this because I still need it to show my example. Yeah. Now, let's go to the payment. Over here is where we do everything that related to the economy for this cyber cafe. Such as paying for the user that want to pay, membership top up to top up membership time, payment history to watch the recent payment and profit graph to see the economy for this cyber cafe. Let's go to the paying first. Currently, there is nothing here because no one is done playing their computer. This is where I will use the stop function. I will stop the PC 03190005. Let's go again to paying. Now we can see the PC 03190005 and the customer they playing it. Also the price the customer need to pay. To pay, click enter. Enter the total money that customer give to pay his bill. If the customer give RM10 ringgit, then input 10. And the program will calculate the balance and the data will be empty again. Right now, let's go to the membership top up. This is to add a membership day for member. Let's try to add Hafiz day. Hafiz only has 61 day left. Over here, 13 day is RM10 ringgit. Let's buy that for Hafiz. Hafiz currently has 91 day left for membership. In the payment history, there is only a recent payment that already done before. Now, let's go to the profit graph. Over here, we can see the monthly graph. To change the year, just using the arrow key up and down to change the years. The below number is the accurate total profit for that month. Like this, the profit of the December 2020 is RM35 ringgit. From the graph, it stay between the axis of 33 and 36 because 35 is between that. 
the scale is automatically changed based on the highest data value. Currently, I only has 2 months of data which is December 2020 and January 2021. We can also view the daily data per month for the cyber cafe. Use right and left arrow button to select month and click enter to enter daily profit per month. Right now, we can see the daily profit for January 2021. The number below indicate the accurate value from the graph. As example, at day 15, the profit is RM16 ringgit and from the graph, the bar stop at between RM60 and RM66 and exits Y because that's where the value stay at. I don't make the scale to constant value like 1 because if there is a large data value then uh, the graph will be long enough and we need to scroll down so long until we can see all of the graph. So I made an automatically scale to make the graph stay at its place. Click 0 to return to the monthly graph. Let's check the audit date. This is the profit from this date, December 2020. And to prove it, let's see the database. On 23 of 12, 2020, there are two customers that come and play for 4 hours. One is a member and one is not a member. The member get discount for 13%. So he only need to pay RM 7.5 ringgit for 4 hours, while non-member need to pay RM 10 ringgit for 4 hour 7.5 plus 10 is 17.5 and from the graph we can see at day 23 the profit is 17.5 let's check all the more there is nothing in here because there is no data for this date now we done for the graph which means i already done present my workshop one project cyber cafe management system uh thank you